One of the things we learn in data and statistics with math class is how do we find an average? Because it's useful to know, well, on average, people order mostly chocolate ice cream or people usually spend about $7 when they go to the theater just on snacks. So it's useful information for us, especially in business, especially in um, when we're in marketing. That way we can make sense of, well, what is most likely to occur. Okay, so we're gonna use some really simple numbers in the beginning to really understand this concept and then we'll do some practical applications. Okay, so going down to my desk, let's take a look. So I have a couple of numbers here. I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Six numbers, so that's actually your first step. That goes on the bottom. So however many numbers you have, that goes on the bottom and then we're going to sum them and that goes on the top. So I have two plus one, which is three. Add another three to it at six. Six, seven, eight, nine. Nine plus five is 14. Okay, so I have 14 divided by six. So on top goes the sum of all numbers. And this on the bottom is how many numbers you have. So what we're gonna do is then we're gonna use our calculator. We'll just say 14 divided by six, okay? My average is 2.33333 on, and so I'm just gonna say my average AVG is 2.3 bar. That just means the three repeats over and over and over, okay? Let's try it with some test scores. Imagine you took a math test and out of 100 points, you got a 98 an 87, a 92, and an 81. You wanna know what your, what's your average, okay? So what we're gonna do is we first count up the numbers. We see that we have four numbers, so that goes on the bottom. And then we're going to add up these numbers, and we can use our calculator for that. So I have a 98 plus an 87 plus a 92 plus an 81. So I'm using the calculator as a tool. So I have 358. And I'm gonna divide that by four to get a result of 89.5. So my average is 89.5. So my average on math test scores is 89 and a half percent. Let's say you run an ice cream store and this is how much each customer spent for the last five times that you rang them up at the cash register. Okay, so using that, let's find out how much does the average person spend on ice cream in your store. So this is the number, I have five different numbers here, and then I'm just going to use my calculator and add them up. So I have four and a quarter plus six dollars and 50 cents plus another four and a quarter plus 4.75 plus 5.5 and that goes on the top so 25 dollars and 25 cents All right and i'm going to divide that by five on average people spend five dollars and five cents when they come into your store now once you have information like that, you can start to make other decisions like, well, do I raise my prices? And if so, by how much? How much do people spend now? Maybe there's something I can add in addition that would increase the amount that they're spending per transaction in my store. <laughs> so if you like this type of math where kids are learning the easy way, they're not bored or frustrated with too many dry, boring textbooks, and <laughs> unfortunately, sometimes teachers, I'd like to invite you to a free class on math learning it the easy way that I'm gonna be giving. So you can register at no charge, just click the link below, it's also in the description, at getmath.net slash learn. Okay, let's go do a couple of more examples so this really makes sense. Let's suppose you love to play soccer, and in the last game you scored three goals, but then you scored four, and then you didn't score any, but then you scored, scored one goal, and then your next run you did two, and then another three. Okay. What is your average for scoring goals? Okay, so I have one, two, three, four, five, six numbers. That zero still counts. So I have six numbers, and then I'm simply going to add them. Three and four make seven. Add this three as a 10. Add a, a one and two, which is three, so I have a 13. 
So 13 divided by 6 is 2.16. Okay. So my average is that I am scoring a little more than two goals every single game. Are you starting to see how easy this is to do? So sometimes we can take averages of a lot of numbers, and this is where it's helpful to have a calculator as a tool because our chances of making an arithmetic mistake increase for the more numbers we gotta add together. So let's take an example where there are more decimals involved and then we'll wrap things up. Okay, so let's go down my desk and let's imagine that you run a, a, like a lemonade stand. And the first time you run it, you earned $52.50. Okay, and then you ran it a week later and you earned $47.02. And then you ran it again and it was $36.18 that you earned. And then maybe you changed your location because you're noticing, hey, I'm not earning as much. Maybe you're now parking next to places where there are more thirsty people. And the next time it's $75.50, okay? And then you continue to do this and you realize, hey, this is actually a good location, better than the rest. Okay, so even though there's like a widespread in these numbers, we still just add them up together. How many numbers do we have? We have five, that goes on the bottom. And what goes on the top are all these numbers added together. So let's do it. So 5250, you're gonna read them out to me? <laughs> Go ahead, 4702. 36, 18, 75.5, and 69.18. Now, by the way, I work as a scientist and an engineer, and so sometimes if I have to add up big columns of numbers, and I'm not doing it with a computer, um, what I'll do is I'll just take them in batches and then write really small what this is, so in case I make a mistake later, I can just come back to this part and add them in. Okay, so 280.38 divided by five different lemonade stands. So on average, my lemonade stand is making me $56.08 every time I run it. And so using that, you can actually figure out what your average is. If that average is worth all the time and trouble and expense of running a lemonade stand, or maybe there's something that you can do that's even better. Okay, so if you like these um, the lessons that we've been doing and it's making a lot of sense to you and you'd like to do even more, I encourage you to join me for a free math class that I'm gonna be giving on how to learn math the easy way. You can join me at getmath.net slash learn. The link is also in the description as well as in the comments. I hope you've enjoyed this and I will see you in the next class.